Hey guys, today we're going to make a video on the Woods Pro Dust to Dawn sensor. So of course, I went to Lowe's um, again, so I went to Lowe's yesterday. And uh, of course, what I ended up doing is I actually ended up picking two of these. Um, so these are for a job. I picked up two of these Woods Pro photo cell control adapters, as well as the rest of the um, candelabra adapters, which I already made a video on those, of course, the Utilitec um, candelabra base adapters. So I picked up the rest of those, and I picked up uh, two of these. So we're gonna see how well these uh, work. Now I've had I bought the uh, I bought this brand of photo cell control adapter before, not this particular style, but the um, well, like the taller style that you can use in um, outdoor floodlights and I couldn't really get those to work before but we'll see if uh, this one works so hopefully it does um, of course it does have the spring-loaded base at the bottom which that's nice um, so of course that's for like positioning the photo cell and then you get the uh, get these attachments included as well so of course the attachments are for like the like for the little photo cell so I guess you can kind of um, like you can kind of position or well i think what you do is you put that on there and that kind of sent and that's how like the photo cell can sense through the little uh hole there which that's kind of interesting of course this adapter as you can see is compatible with all bulbs um instead of one because of course the other adapter that adapter was only compatible with one bulb so that one was only compatible for incandescence only um, of course indoor outdoor rated um, so you could use incandescent, CFL, halogen, and LED, um, which it also does talk about that on the back. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Um, so it says it can handle up to a 150-watt halogen bulb. Um, that's that's actually pretty good, if you ask me, because the other one was only 60-watt max for candelabra bulbs. Um, of course, automatically turns on at dusk and off at dawn. Um, and of course it talks about the photo cell um, and it talks about how the spring-loaded contact lets you position the photo cell um, and then of course this ha and then of course since this uh, is a bigger adapter you have a little more circuitry going on in this so this has a time delay which eliminates flicker and false on and off triggers so of course the other ones they don't have a time delay as soon as it gets dark out they turn on right away, but this has a little bit of a time delay, so it doesn't make your bulb flicker. Um, so, of course, compatible with incandescence, halogens, CFLs, and LEDs. And I'm surprised that they, uh, also, if you can see that, they put mercury vapor bulbs. I don't know why they put mercury vapor bulbs, because, I mean, usually mercury vapor fixtures have photo cells, but <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of interesting that they put mercury vapor bulbs on there. Um, and then, of course, for indoor outdoor use and dry locations. So the so this kind of photo cell control adapter, you can use this in an enclosed rated fixture. They don't want you to use it in the outdoor floodlight. Of course, as I said, uh, Woods Pro does make a photo cell control adapter that's made for floodlights. Um, and of course, as you can see, it says the it says South Wire on here. Uh, but as you can see, the adapter is branded by Woods because it does say Woods on here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get this open here. So, uh, see if I can pull this apart. We'll kind of have a little bit of a uh, little bit of an unboxing to this. I don't really want to damage the packaging that much, but it's kind of a way to get it out of here. So, let's see here. Um, of course, you have our instruction manual that uh, tells you how to operate it. I guess we can go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So, of course, it does, uh, it's pretty interesting that it does show uh, putting it in a regular socket. So, this talks about, um, of course, this talks about how to uh, use the adapter. It shows how it works as well. So, of course, if you want to pause and read that, you can. So of course, there's all the information on that. So, we'll set that off to the side. And now we'll get our adapter out, and we'll take a look at our adapter. Um, we'll also get all the pieces out as well. 
make sure I have all of them. Um, oh, there's the other one. So I think this comes with um, three or four pieces. The other piece is uh, stuck in the socket. Let's see if I can get it out. <clears throat> there we go. Thought there were four pieces. Let me see. Um, or maybe it was just three, I think. Yeah, I think it's probably just three. I thought it came with four. Um, anyways, so of course, uh, as you can see, there's our little photo cell, which is really interesting. Of course, this has a bigger photo cell. Of course, the other um, photo cell control adapters that I showed you before, which are candelabra based, those had more of a tinier photo cell, which was which was actually uh, pretty interesting. So these have more of a slightly bigger photo cell in there, so that's cool. Of course, here's our spring-loaded base, just like the candelabras. Um, of course, our information on here tells you what bulbs that you can use in this adapter. Uh, of course, there's the photo cell again. Um, of course, there's our socket, as you can see. So I'd say it's kind of a decent style socket. Um, so yeah, I guess. And then, of course, as I said, it comes with the uh, it comes with four attach or four pieces here. So what you kind of would do with this is you would uh, kind of put this in here I think this one doesn't really quite fit I think it's really supposed to go the other way but um, let's see if I can get one of the there we go um, so that's what you would do you put one of these on here and then you see the little photo cell in there you kind of see that a little bit um, so we'll see how well these work um, and of course you have this one. This is like the smallest one. So if you want, don't want that to stick out that far, you can use the smallest one. So we'll see uh, how those work. Um, I think they made this other one a little too big because it doesn't really quite... Um, well, you can kind of get it to fit in there. Um, sort of, yeah. <laughs> um, so now what we'll do is... Uh, I guess we can move these off to the side and we'll try those out in a little bit here. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and screw this into our socket and uh, we'll see how this works. So of course, as I said, you can kind of position this. Uh, I guess we'll position it this way so then that way. I don't know if the photo cell will see the light from over there, but we'll kind of position it that way. And then, of course, I, uh, I grabbed a standard 60-watt um, equivalent halogen bulb. So this is only 43 watts. So we'll put this in here. Of course, yes, uh, same, with the, uh, same with this adapter as well. It is going to make your bulb stick out a little bit further, just like the candelabra version. Um, so that, that's a little bit of a difference there. So 